So how do you run an Ansible playbook? In a previous video, we defined what an Ansible playbook is. And in this video, we're basically just gonna go demonstrate how to run a playbook. We're gonna look at a few of the different Ansible playbook command options. And we're gonna take a brief look at the Ansible playbook documentation. All right, so to demonstrate how to run a playbook, I have pulled up my GNS3, the topology we're working with. We've got two aggregation switches and three access switches. We've got the network automation device deployed. And just real quick, I'm gonna show you some of the configuration that I have on the network automation control device. So LS, show you the files I've created. As root, I have created my own ansible.config file. And the main thing I wanted to highlight here is that I have defined inventory in the INI format with the my host file, which you also see up here so more my host to look at the contents of that file so you can see I have two groups here I have two aggregation switches and three access switches and that is our inventory and next we're gonna look at the playbook itself and so this is the same playbook that I had defined in the previous video so we're gonna be running it against all hosts now I'm gonna clear my output and I'm pasting in the command that allows you to run the playbook the command that you use to run a playbook is the ansible-playbook command, and then there's several arguments that come after it. If you look at the one that I have pasted here, it's ansible-playbook, then get cdp.yaml. So that's the name of the playbook file. And then the dash u argument specifies the username that we are going to present to the host when we're logging into it. And then the dash k argument just means that we are going to accept being prompted for a username and password. So I'm gonna hit enter prompts me for the password, Cisco. Okay, so you can see that the playbook ran successfully and returned the full output of the show CDP neighbors command. All right, next I'm just gonna throw a little wrinkle into it, clear the output. All right, so now we're gonna use some grep filtering. So we're gonna use the pipe character, then grep, and we're gonna filter for lines that have both okay and net automation on it. And the reason that we're gonna do this is to simplify the output. So I hit run and then it prompts us for the password again. So what filtering really allowed us to do is cut down on the amount of output. Since the whole goal of running the show CDP neighbors command is to just look at what devices see as their CDP neighbors, this greatly simplifies the output. So here you can see that the two aggregation switches can see all the other switches, which makes sense because they're directly connected to everyone. Well, the access switches can only see the aggregation switches. All right, so I've actually created a couple different variants of playbooks. So you can see I've created get CDP, that's what we just ran, then get CDP1.yaml and get CDP2.yaml. And so the only difference here is that if, in terms of the host, I have access, whereas with the original playbook that we just ran, it was with, it was with all. I'm just gonna go change it to get cdp1.yaml and then you can see that it only ran against the access switches and then if we wanted to run that one then it only ran against the ag switches so And you can see in get cdp2 i had the host defined as the ag group then the only other point i wanted to make is that there's a lot of different options while running the ansible playbook command so if you just put in ansible dash playbook and then hit enter it's going to tell you there's not enough arguments see down here at the bottom it says too few arguments and then it gives you examples of all the other arguments that you could use in order to make the command complete and so if you want to see an explanation for all of the argument options that you have you can go to this link and i'm going to have the link in the description it breaks down what you can do with the ansible dash playbook command you see there's the same output that we saw on my control machine and then it goes through all the options and, and really defines what you can what you can do so you could use this dash dash become user to run the operation as a non-root user and then it says by default you run it as root then you can also use the uh, list host argument to list out the host that the playbook applies to you can use the uh, version argument to check the version of everything you can use the dash i argument to change the inventory that you're looking at there's a lot of these i haven't fully explored but you can use dash v to use verbose mode and essentially debug the automation operations if you need to troubleshoot and so this is how you would run the command to see what host the playbook is going to apply to we got ansible dash playbook and then the list host and the name of the playbook 
And there you can see that that is going to apply to all the hosts. And then you can use the dash dash version to see the version of Ansible that you're using. And it's going to show you the Python version as well. Ansible version that. And it's the exact same output as just running it as Ansible dash dash version. You can see it's the exact same thing. All right, so in this video, we demonstrated running a playbook. We looked at a few of the options that you have while running that command. And we looked at the Ansible playbook documentation a little bit. If you found this helpful, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.